Hey there, my name is Ali. Today I'm gonna show you several ways to add light beams like coming from windows in your photos. Okay, the first way is gonna be like this. You're gonna create a new layer and then you're gonna take your brush, choose the color you want. Let's say we want to go with something bright orange like that. Then choose a normal brush and just make sure you do this and this. Let's say we want it to be coming from this window. Okay, I'll make sure it's 100% opacity. It's a little bit hard. You don't want it to be like completely soft, not completely hard. And then I'm gonna just create some lights like that. Make it smaller, something like that. Make sure they are random a little bit, like small. One big here, one big there. One smaller here. Here. And... Okay, I sampled color by pressing Alt click. Because I sampled one by mistake. I press Alt or Option and right click left and right to make my brush bigger or smaller. Let's say we have this sort of like light beams. Now I'm gonna take, I'll do one thing, I'll take the eraser, make it with a low opacity, and I'll just very softly delete the far away parts. So like it's a little bit here stronger and then it fades away. Okay, then the next step is going to filter, blur, motion, blur. Now you're gonna change your like angle to exactly the one like the window. So if I make the angle like this, okay, that's perfect. Okay, and then you're gonna use like a very high distance till it's looking somehow like that. Then I'm gonna press okay. Then I'm gonna actually press control J. Now I have another duplicate. I'm gonna press control T. I'm gonna make this one smaller. But then this one, I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. I'm gonna make it desaturated and I'm gonna make it like a lot brighter. So now we have like some yellow and white. I'm gonna change the blending mode of both of them to screen. And then the white one, this is the white one. I'm gonna reduce the opacity a lot, something very low number. And then the other one, I'm gonna like make the opacity something less. Then I'm gonna use an eraser. Make sure it's 100%. And I'm just gonna erase the extra parts here and there. You can actually like control T, rotate. Uh, I have to select them both, control T, rotate them somehow a little bit like that. So they match like the angle I wanna use. So this is a way, let's see, I'll merge them, make them back to screen. Let's see the before and after. So we added some sort of like straight line, light beams in our photo. Okay, let's erase it. Let's show you another way. The other way is basically just taking a brush, just a normal brush. And let's use something in the middle opacity and just draw where the light you want to be, something like that. Okay. I'm going to click again here to make it stronger in that area. And one more click here. Make it some sort of a gradient. Now I'm going to add a layer mask. I'm going to stand on my mask. Then I'm going to go to filter. Render, then I'm gonna go to clouds. So now I added some sort of clouds. I'm gonna change this to screen actually. And on the clouds, I'm gonna unlink the mask, press Ctrl T, and I'm just gonna make the clouds a lot bigger. So now we have like some sort of like foggy light coming to the place. Another thing I can do if it's, I believe it's the color is too strong. So I'm gonna stand on the layer, press Ctrl U. Now I'm in the hue saturation, I'm just gonna desaturate it a little bit and we can always like reduce the opacity. You can also try like using the soft light, you see the soft light? It's a very subtle effect, maybe the overlay or you can try the lighten and the screen. I like the screen for light a lot. You can do one thing actually, press Ctrl J. Now we have two duplicates. One of them put it to soft light, one of them put it to screen and reduce the opacity. So now we have like some sort of a, the before and the after we added some sort of a light. Okay, the last one is using a cloud brush. So you can download this cloud brush, just try Google cloud brush and you just draw like some random clouds like that. And then you add a layer mask and then lower the opacity maybe. Now if you paint black on your mask, you're gonna erase. So we're also erasing with the cloud brush. So just like keep doing it randomly until you have like a natural look to it. If I believe I erased a lot here, so I'm going to press X. 
to change from black to white and then I'm gonna bring back some here also we can press ctrl u we can play around with the color like choose the, the color we want let's say I want it more reddish something like that and brighter so I made it brighter and reddish try the screen soft light first the screen okay the screen is better and reduce the opacity so now we have some sort of like red light coming inside our photo okay let's do another way you go to google you write light beam texture you go to images you go to tools make sure it's labeled for reuse with modification if you want to use it like for free and let's say i'm gonna use this one okay i'm gonna right click copy then here i'm gonna press ctrl v now it's pasted I'm gonna put it like where I want something like that I'm gonna actually stretch it out a little bit like this put it here okay now I'm gonna change it to screen so what the screen does actually is that it deletes all the black leaves all the white I'm gonna make it like a lot bigger something like that and then I'm gonna use my eraser it's a little bit like laggy okay because it's a very big photo I'm gonna use my eraser I'm gonna erase like the edges a little bit here and there if I want to color this I'm gonna press ctrl u go to colorize and choose the color I want I want like let's say orange okay and just reduce the opacity now we have like some sort of a light beam coming from the window okay another way we could use I guess this one is the last one just make the selection you can also feather it let's say I want to feather it by 15 pixels and I'm just gonna make my selection like that this is where I want my light beam to be coming something like that you can press Q actually to see your selection make sure you press it back again Q on your keyboard now you can add a curves adjustment layer now the curves adjustment layer if you see it's only gonna affect the area where you made your selection if this is still too sharp, you can stand on the mask, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and the more you increase the radius, the more it's gonna be like faded. So I faded a lot stronger because the 15 feather was not enough. Okay, so let's bring it back to normal. Okay, first on this one, you're gonna increase your highlights. You don't want to brighten your shadows like that. It will look like grayish. It looks bad. So always make sure you brighten from like top parts of your photo maybe from here or just from the highlights here okay so now you see we brighten this area a lot we can actually also go to the red channel add some red go to the blue channel add some yellow so now you see we have some sort of a light i believe this way is one of the most like best ways you can also on the layer mask using a black brush you can start to paint with the cloud brush we have to make like the light have some sort of variation I believe this is the most realistic way to add light it's very natural you see it looks like like all the highlights here and everything it's a very good way to do it okay I'm I like my curves like the curves is the best way for me to do that thing and the first one which is like the motion blur if you want to create like the light beams itself okay that's it for today's tutorial if you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below.